take this, this opportunity and some time to thank you all the leaders, all the time involved, and uh, all the crew who helped making this event happen. So give your leaders and your crew. Uh, so let's start. Two, two. Okay, right, it's good to be back here again. Okay. That was uh, back in 2000, 2019. 2019, Christmas. There, right? Okay. Right, okay, we start now. Okay, we'll go straight into it. Okay. Now, today I have a. Again, with every leadership, okay, I'm here just to give you general myself. Whatever in the technical term or whatever in, in the technical part doesn't go with your upline. You disregard whatever I say here and follow your upline because they know you, they see your organization, they know your PV. I don't. Okay? So I'm here speaking in general. Okay? You have to follow your upline. Okay? They know the best uh, about your business. Okay? Now, um, I have a surprise for you today, but you have to understand this first. Okay? In Amway, um, there are nine graphs. I mean, nine steps that you have to move the people. Number one is the people you know. Okay? The people you know. Okay? Number two is the people who know that you do Amway business. Okay? For example, you have 100 people, uh, 100 friends. Not all of them know that you do Amway, correct? Like right now. Okay, so that's graph number two. Number three is um, the people who you can talk Amway with. Because your friends, um, those who know Amway, know that you do Amway. Not every one of them that you can speak Amway with, right? Okay, some are like super negative and you know, close their eyes, close their eyes, listen. Some is natural and even some are positive. Some are even, uh, some even know the product. Okay, so that we call graph uh, number three. Now, what important is graph number four? Number four is the people that you have actually sponsored. That you have actually sponsored. Okay, show the plan, the marketing plan. Um, bring them to the event, okay, to the uh, business opportunity meeting. And number five, what, what do you think would be number five? The people who sign up. Okay, that's number five. And number six is the people that you follow. Should I move here? Okay. That's all right. That's okay. Um, okay, so number six is the people who um, you are following. In the, uh, in the process of uh, following, okay? And number seven is the people who attend the meeting, okay? I actually shared this, like, back in 2008, like, uh, at Singapore Leadership, okay? Uh, and for myself, I've been using this, okay? And uh, I'm sharing it to you. And you go and adapt with your system, okay? Because Everyone have their own market, everyone have, every group have, you know, your own way doing the business. But the concept, I believe, is the same. And number eight are the people who make decisions, okay, who committed to the business. Okay, they have gold, they want to become 21%, they want to become emerald, uh, diamond powder, diamond and gold. Okay, and number nine, a committed leader. Okay, uh, people who become father platinum. That's, that is number nine. Okay, number nine, we start talking from Father Platinum, not Platinum, okay? Father Platinum is where you have to bring them to. Now, the leadership tonight, I will refer to this. So you make sure that you have the concept of this nine graph and nine step, because in that way, that's all you need to do. Moving one to nine, okay? And in Amway, we have different type of meeting for all the craft, right? Like yesterday, um, at Kenting, I think it would be best for the people who already signed up. 
right? Not like totally new people. Okay? But of course, the cash flow, you do cash flow, right? Cash flow game. Yeah. Cash flow game could be number, move number one to number two. Right? Number one to number two. Okay? Or number two to number three. That's the cash flow game. There are two types of functions. The function that the prospect get to know you. Or the function that the prospect get to know Amway. Okay? Of course, if your friend already know you, you can bring them straight into the Amway meeting. But if you do the cold market, okay, or a friend that you didn't be for a long time, you have to make sure that um, they know you first. They feel good about you first. That's what I talked about uh, yesterday. Okay. So today we will do um, the exam together. Okay. Oh, I have my my Thai leaders here. Hi, Duma. Stand up. Stand up. Uh, receive an applause. Hey, give it up for me. Give it up. That's that's leadership. That's leadership. Because I didn't know that they were coming. Yeah. And it's true that you think. <laughs> so, today we will do the exam together. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you 10 questions. Okay? You write down the answer. And I'm going to get some of you to answer as well. Don't, that is the right answer. Okay? I intentionally make it not hard, but there is no right answer. Okay? But I make the question so that you can think together uh, with me. Okay, and then I will explain the mindset of why I will choose uh, which choice. Okay, so number one, why don't you have new people coming to the event? A, no name this. Two, the type of function. Okay. Uh, C, because you don't do the work uh, enough, do not do the basic work. And D, you are not confident. Uh, with the speaker, okay. So, Ivan, where are you? Ivan, Ivan, where are you? Okay, because it's your birthday, I get you to answer the first question. Happy birthday to Ivan! <laughs> That's my birthday to you. Answer the first question. <laughs> there is no right or wrong. Okay, so be confident. Yeah. Which one? C. C. Not do the bit. Ah, okay. Right. Now, I like the answer from this side. The lady in yellow with the pink mask. Please, which one you choose? D? C. C, right. Now, this is important. Okay? The answer, and even my dollar, and they can confirm that I'm actually carrying you with you exactly what I teach them, right? Nay. Now, most of you who pick C, raise your hand. Wow! <laughs> and that's why you don't have new people come to the meeting. <laughs> because the answer is A, definitely A. Because when you think about it, okay, not go out or do best work enough. That means that you feel that you, you have to do a lot of best work. But here's the thing. You do the basic work with the oldest. Let me repeat that again. You do the basic work with the, you have 50 names from last year, and then you do the basic work so hard with the same 50 names. They are not interested. They told you last year. Okay? And that's why people don't have new people into the event because you're working with your own enemies. Now you understand, right? Okay? So, the most important thing is the new name list. That is where the new people come from. That is where the new name come from. If you have the 50 names this year and you've done all that, okay, you do basic work with this 50 names, then you put them next year. You build another 50 names again. This is the thing, and that's why I put this first question. This is where we got struck. 
because we're working with the only leaders. Okay? So you've got to be all leaders now, and most of you guys, I'm sure that you have been in the business more than two years. Okay? And if you have been in the business more than two years, you probably have to learn how to get new names already. Okay? Look at that. It's so good to be speaking Chinese again. <laughs> oh! Okay, second question. Upline should organize open or close and wait event. Now let's see, explain the close and open. Close is again the prospect get to know you. Okay? Get to build relationship with you. No mentioning about Amway yet. Like cash for games. Okay? Or like uh, like what we do in Thailand, it's like a um, nutrition course. You invite a prospect in so that they have start building relationship with you. That means you move them from graph number one to graph number three to people who you can talk and with. Okay? That is what we call close event. Okay? That doesn't mean you go and buff them, okay? It's not like, well, in my organization, okay? I teach my dad like not to buff people, you know? I tell my dad like, you can't, like for example, I'm speaking OPP, and you know my OPP. My OPP is for what I'm with, okay? You can't invite someone like, hey, come and listen to financial seminar, and then bang, I'm with. Because if that happened, just like Rick said, I borrow his word, okay? You hijack the relationship. Okay, but if you tell them straight, it's Amway, and they wouldn't come. The relationship still there. But if you pass them, come sit down and give them a surprise. A M U A Y. Then once the relationship got hijacked, you can't follow them. And once you can't follow them, you lose one person. And they go and become another people customer. Okay? To me, ma'am. Okay. Back, back, back. I'll go to number two, please. Okay. So the open uh, function, as, as you already know, is every function. Okay? Now, the question is upline should organize open or close? Okay. Because sometimes, I have uh, my leader, or like my dad, uh, not complaining, but asking for close event. Why are the leg of mine want an open event? Because they are in different room of the business. You know? Because the group have the people in different graph. Okay? If close event is for graph number one, two, three. Open event for someone that you already already sponsored that in graph number four. Okay? So, which one should apply, organize? Open, close, or you think it's not? It is not relevant about close or open. It's all about uh, nameless. I will find someone in black and find someone in pink. <laughs> The ladies here, yep, with, with that you, please, miss, which one you choose? C, 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 okay? Yes, the pink. Uh, yep, you, the 22 years old. Uh, okay, yeah, C. C, okay. All right, give yourself a hand, correct, C. It does matter, you know, listen, it does matter what car function it is. If today, Amway call you up tomorrow, Amway call you up, and Amway have this new department called ADO Secretary, okay? Your guys secretary. And this department, the job is to go out and do survey, and then screen the people who are interested in doing Amway and all the business. And then they call you up. Okay, and said, hey, um, what's your name? 
Yep. Sad. 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 I will call sad. And I will tell sad, hey sad, we have 150 names from our survey and uh, research that we have done. This 150 names very interested in the business. Would you care whether it's closed or open? No. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? You go and sponsor them right away, right? Because I Elway already moved the graph for you. Elway already moved the graph for you. They are those 150 names are graph number three. Like not just graph number three, like graph number three and graph number four is right here. It's like a penalty kick. Okay? Then you would go and sponsor them and bring them to the event. Okay? So this first two questions is to emphasize how important new name is and how important for you to always move the new name to graph number three to people who you can talk and with. Okay, and that account for many things from using the product and you know have uh, good body shape and uh, good skin. Okay. Number three. Okay. Which type, not upline, okay? Which type of PR? Which type of people? Upline. Think about it. Which type of people upline would love to work with? A. People who has this work. Okay. Two. People who move the group and the graph quickly by themselves, become 12% quick. Okay. Uh, have the big item, you know, the atmosphere, the spring, mini atmosphere, or whatever is your main weapon in your system. It might be weight management, it might be something, something, something. I don't know. But these people, once they sign up, they get into your main weapon. C. People who watch clips. D. People who has good market and potential. Or it is so pure leadership. A, B, C, D. I would like to ask for a courageous leader to raise up your hand and answer this question. Show me your yes. A, right? Okay, and next to you, that you raise your hand, the lady miss. A, right? Okay. So both of them, who, who should say? Okay. Who should be? C cat. Mm. D dog. Okay. For my experience, again, no right or wrong. Okay, no right or wrong. Okay. The answer is not in this choice. <laughs> the answer is which type of people are likely to work with? Depends on the upline score. Depends on the upline UPL. Right? Now, you think about it. If I have a goal to become diamond in one physical year, I can't just go and work with people who watch clips. I have to go and work with people either B or D dog. So good. Right? But if you have no goal, you can work with any of them. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? So, the answer to this question is not about the downline. It's about your goal. Right? If, for example, you want, just like, um, what, with, with the new plan, uh, you need to have at least a file of platinum, right? File of platinum is very important. Okay, and you have a goal, Fine. Follow the platinum. And if you have that mindset in mind, okay, you will see that B is very interesting too. Why? Why B is very interesting? Okay. Because actually the basic concept of Amway is you use the product, uh, you impress the product, and then you share it, right? And that means this guy, okay, who becomes well as quick. That means he used a lot of product. They use a lot of product. Okay. And um, 
if they do great, I mean, in Thailand, they do great religion, right? And in Malaysia, I don't know what you guys do, what you do, the same, or whatever you mean, what you want. But what my concept is like this, for example. Jocelyn, do web management. Kamin, do web management. Become 12 the same. Wayne, Kamin. And he used toothpaste. Okay? But Mandy, you, you have the dental force here? Oh, no, right? Okay. But in Thailand, you know, we have the, 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 the force, right? The question is, do you go and force your teeth at the office? No. <laughs> you don't, right? That's why the main weapon weight management would be the best option. So the people who decided to go in that, that means they have some kind of entrepreneurship to think about this. That using the product is, is important. That always is all about you use the product, you impress the product, and then you start sharing it for people to see. And, and you don't go and brush your teeth at the office. Right? Okay? So, this one, first, depend on your goal. Second, okay, the people who use the product and become 12% quick, very, very uh, interesting. If I spot them, I will ask the apply here, the, the founder partner of life. Where did you get this guy? And then I will remember the name. Okay, that's how you do uh, the dev tool. Okay? Number four. Oh, this one, I love this one. <laughs> Do I need to do MA full time? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Good thing A. Good thing B. Good thing maybe. Okay. The answer is it's not about yes, it's not about no or maybe. You have to understand that in order to succeed in MA, it's not about doing it part-time or full-time. It's about having legs. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It's not about having time, it's about having legs. You know, like in order to have discipline, it's about having self-control. Okay? So, do you... No personal attack, okay? But, do you have that line full-time, have no legs? And you also have Downline, part time, have three legs. Right? So it's all about having legs, not about full time or part time. Okay? Because, and then the other, you know, what, what we experience, what we experience is you've been working at the company, you know, and then one day you get, you know, you found that way, you got sponsored, you got so excited. Once you got so excited, right? The company job becomes so boring, right? Start from day one that you understand, don't we? The company job becomes so boring. And then you want to quit right away. And most of the time, that's what people plan to do. Oh, I want to quit my job because I found Amway. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. But the guideline should be you. You have to set a goal, not like, oh, I will quit my job. No, you should set a goal like, I will quit my job when I have four legs. In six months, in one year, okay? But legs have to come first, and then you put the timeline in it. Otherwise, otherwise what happens is, you will quit, and then you will become unemployed in that way. And then you will get to go back to the office again. We all, you have timeline like this, right? And for me, once you got out of the office, I don't want you to go back. As an MBA leader, you know, you're out of the cage. I don't want you to cage yourself again. <coughs> but if, if, there is also some idea, okay? Like some of my downlines, they keep changing company just to find more new names. Okay? That you can do too. But what I'm saying is don't just quit your job without new names. Set a goal, four legs first in six months. If you're so worried about your job, then four legs in three months. Don't just quit your job because you found a way. Okay? Because you lose one quit your job, no income. Unemployed in way, no income. And then 
you start to doubt yourself, start to doubt everything. Then you go back to your job and start everything all over again. I'm busy now, let me manage my time first. Can I come back and do it later? I'm asking you. Okay. Some of your leader, or some of your downline, or some of your prospect, you know, they might say this. I'm busy now, let me go and manage. Which is understandable. Maybe they just open a coffee shop. Um, or just invest in a, a restaurant or something. I will come back and do it later. Can you? Do, do you think that you can come back and do it later? No. Oh, actually, who think yes? Who think no? Okay, who think maybe? Smart people. Maybe it's like in the middle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now this one, actually, yes, but it, that is a risk. You have to understand. You can't count that, okay? They might or might not. They have, it's their right. It is their right, okay? But if you want to become diamond, you can't allow this to happen. To yourself or to them? Like someone said this to you. No, you can't count that at all. And if you don't want to become diamond, you can't say this to your mind. You can't say this to yourself, okay? Now, number four and number five, I wanna, I want you to think about this. We all know cash for game, right? Yeah. Okay. Everyone play cash for game, right? Yeah. Okay. You know ESPN, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, you know in the rap race, if we can pick, if we can pick out some of the thing, which one would you take out? You know, in the right place, which one will you take out? The, the pay, right? The pay, you know? And the second one that you would take out would be what? What? A shooting, someone said shooting. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's, that's, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Thailand, when we do cash for game, we only allow the prospect to have three shooters okay, in the games. Otherwise, it will be very hard for them to, to get out of the um, Anyway, of course, you would, number one, you would take the pay off, right? But in real life, which one you do first? One, you get paid it, you go to pay it. Right? One, you get the salary. You jump into pay it right away. Okay? Now, the second one that you would take off would be got fired. Right? And then maybe no sugar. Okay? <laughs> now let me argue this. So, if you take those two off, what would you feel it? Have you read opportunity or payday? Which one? Be confident. Which one? Opportunity, right? Opportunity is GV, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> in Korea, in, uh, in Chinese, GV. In Korea, it's Gyeok. Gyeok Heyo. Gyeok Heyo. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Um, you, put, you, you would put opportunity. Now let me argue this. For example, two side. Okay, we play cash for game. This table. Okay. In the cash for game, you see there are three payday, right? Three payday. Now, this table on this side, on the board, only one payday. The rest is opportunity. On this side, you play the same. You have free payday, but less opportunity. My question for the world is, which table would be out of the red race first? This table, right? 
Why? Because they have more opportunity, right? Why are you focusing only on the pain? Why are you only focusing on your... I'm not saying that the company work is bad, but I'm, I'm, I'm like waking you up, you may think that in order to get out of the red race, you need opportunity. Right? So, when you say that I'm so busy with my work, let me focus with my work, this career plan I'm doing, it's the end of the year, the audit works so hard, I can't focus every now. That's just like running into payday, 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 and you kick out opportunity, opportunity. Don't forget that most of the time, think about this, during the last three days, you found opportunity or pay it. Which one you fall into? Opportunity or pay it? Right? Because you come to the event. But other people who didn't realize about passive income, ESGI, and work rest, they only have payday and pay and have children. Payday, pay and have children. And then they got fired or got unemployed during COVID. Right? So, think about this again. If you substitute the, the yellow heading, okay, with opportunity, no pay, it, and take out the, uh, and if you don't get, get the fire, uh, being an employee off, and then also put opportunity, do you think that would make you get out of the right way quicker? Now you understand. Okay? And what is the opportunity in real life? It's graph number one. It's getting to know new people. Okay? And one thing I'd like to share with you, and you already have seen it during my many years in the business, is all these things that Robert Kiyosaki you don't put outside the right place, you actually can do it. You know, like I remember, um, there's one outside the red race, right? You get to go to the South Pacific, and that's Bora Bora. Okay? Some of it to do charity, yeah, there's charity there. So, you can do what, you know when, when you play the first time, you see whatever outside the red race is so far away from you. But once you become part of that, you become easy, you will start to walk outside the red race, and Walk outside, no pressure. The whole board is so big. The red race is so, so tiny. Okay? So now you understand that you need opportunity to be able to get out of the red race, not more money. Okay? For example, this table, okay, has our pay. But no opportunity at all. No big opportunity. No small opportunity. But this table, okay, has more opportunity on the board. But that table has more money. Of course, you get paid it more quickly. But which one brings you out of the red race? More money or more opportunity? More exactly. I'm not the, you know, now you understand. So you have to understand. I understand, and that is why I put Amway as my priority in life. Because I know Amway is not about money at first. It's about having opportunity. And I understand, you know how much income I earned my first month? 9%. 4,000 baht. 4,000 baht is like 100, and, yeah, 100 US dollar right now to the uh, exchange rate. But I know that it's not about money. It's about opportunity. Okay? So keep yourself if you can, now you understand. Now, you understand, and that means do not tomorrow you go and keep your job, okay? I already told you, have days first. Number six, who will be the next silver? Ah, this one I like you to answer A, B, or C. This is a good question.
Don't try to avoid my eye contact. <laughs> the gentleman with the grey jacket, yeah. Yes, speak to the mic. B, B bird, right? B bird, okay. This side, who would like to answer? Anybody? Yes. A. A and? Okay. Who will be the next one? Okay. Who should see? People who come to the meeting. Okay. This one, I'm very confident. The answer is definitely 100% B. Why? Silver, is there a structure? Do you have those platinum who have big legs and can't balance? That means they already have structure, right? But they don't balance. They don't do 15%. That means even though you have 12% structure, some people still don't want to be silver. But those who be silver are those who make a decision to be the momentum mover, to be the energy, to be the electricity pan, to be like the power, you know, and do it for the team. That is my experience. People who attend the meeting, yes, you have, of course, more chances than those who don't come to the meeting. But again, that's all people who come to the meeting. No, I ask you this, sir. That's all people who go to the temple and shift Nirvana. Same thing. Does all people who come to the meeting become 21? No. So, the next sewer, 100% from my experience, because I have seen it many, many times, are only those who make the decision to do it for the team. To climb over the wall for the team. Everyone who move up, they do it for the team. I move up. I do it for my generation. That's what I thought, for my generation. That's why I tried it so hard to achieve it. Okay? So this is very clear, okay? Uh, we are in October now. We have, what, nine months left already? No, two months, oh, 10 months left, 10 months left, right? Okay? So, I'm giving the answer to you. If you want to move up, you need to have that sense of do it for the team be the example for the team, you know, like uh, instead of counting the ALS, instead of using 12 months to count the ALS, be someone who use only 8 months, be someone who become Ruby and use only 6 months, because that's what happened in, in, in Thailand, we have one new founder of Platinum, use only 6 months to count the ALS, and the moment I start for her, people start to believe, it's Edward Starlight. And, and Edward became part of Safar uh, last year. Okay? And she did it for the team. Okay? So now you know. Number seven. What will eliminate all your business? What will eliminate all that you have built? A. Sell on other online platforms, which is, you know, Shopee, Lazada. Alibaba, those kind of things, you know, right? You have, you have that too, right? B, violate the rules, like, you, you know, violate the rules, like the six, uh, six month of, uh, period, or the two years period, or uh, you don't steal other people's legs, stuff like that, you know, don't violate the rules, okay? Um, or C, 5G, 5G means go guys, okay, this one, this is B number one. Okay, go guys. Games. Number three is gambling. Number four, destroy all the organization because sick. Okay? Don't try to find the truth. Your job is to find legs. <laughs> to succeed. Okay? And number five, good life. So, which one would bring your business down? Okay. A. Don't get caught. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> no, don't get caught. Okay. Don't do it because it, you know it, 
If your neighbor is a thief, it doesn't mean that you have to be a thief. Yeah. Yeah. Right? right? Or even, even if your parent is a thief, does that mean you have to be a thief? Oh. If your upline is a thief, does that mean you have to be a thief? Oh. Exactly. Okay? Because it is your own business. Okay? And I'm very serious about this. Every year, someone got terminated, getting caught, selling stuff on, the, um, on Lazada, on Shopee, you know, in Thailand. Um, and don't worry. Because some of us, we worry that, hey, those who sell on those platforms, sometimes they sell cheaper than our price. But this job is not for you to concern. Your job is to make a loyal customer. Okay, not price concerned customer. Okay, price con price concerned customer, they will buy for you one time, two time, and then if they find cheaper, they go cheaper. They find cheaper again, they go cheaper again. Okay, I'll give you an example. I use Mac, I'm a Mac guy, I'm iOS, okay, and there is this Mac shop, okay, in uh, Central. A department store in Thailand, and there is this one guy. His name is Pop, and he's been selling me the first Mac until the Mac I'm using today. Okay, and every time when I want to buy an iPhone, a MacBook, MacBook Air, iPad, everything, I will talk him up first. Are you at the shop? If he's not in, I'm not buying. That's how good his service is. That's how good his service is. And actually, yeah, this iPhone 14, I also bought from him as well. If he can do that, you can do that too. And we have, compared to Apple product, we are much cheaper. <laughs> The rule and conduct that you know, okay? Um, oh, we have this abundance mindset. Abundance mindset. That is, you know, fishermen. Fishermen, right? When they go out, caught a fish. When they come in and the other ship, the other boat is going out, they will tell them the fish is on this side. You know what? Because they all believe there is enough fish in the ocean for everyone. You need to have that. You know one thing I am proud of? I become a proud ambassador. And you know, like other people do something wrong to my downline. I never go to MW and complain. That, that is something I'm, I'm proud of. Because I feel like my job is to build success. And those who go and complain are those who like, they have so little one. You know, when you have so little, you try to protect everything. But that doesn't mean, but if someone like really wrong, you go. Okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you the mindset. Okay, during my 10 years, even now, I never go to Elway and say, hey Elway, this guy stole my leg. You do that. Phone? Have I ever done that? I don't do that. Okay? Now, 5D. Extremely, very important. Okay? Now, for teenagers. 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 That means the hormone period. <laughs> okay? 18 to 25, 26. Okay? Listen to this carefully. Trust me, become at least an EDC first, and then spend your life as a single EDC for like two or three years. <laughs> and then, you will want to stay single forever. Uh, most of the time, because my, I started this business when I was 24 years old, right? And 
most of the time when you're 24 years old, you're not like younger than me. And the more you the, you know, the, the, the age, the age group, we always below your age. The average age. So for teenagers, okay? Self-control. <laughs> if you're really focusing, you will have no time to think about all those things at all. Why would you want to invite someone into the house that you have not built yet? No. I always like me. Me. I can handle economic class, but I will never let Fiona go economic.
When I said toxic, that means when you feel you need encouragement or you need solution, go up line, don't go side line. You know, Buddha, Buddha has like his right hand and his left hand, right? Do you think that his right hand, Mohalana, and his left hand, Salibu? Do you think that Mohalana want to achieve no one? So, no one, instead of Buddha, go and talk to Salibu. No, they talk to Buddha. Right? So, because once you start, ah, let, I'm just going to put it right here. Loser talk to loser. <laughs> That's it. You know, sometimes you go inside by because you think that you receive, oh, it's okay, it's a death. And you know that if you go to outline, you will receive something that, not, not encouragement, but something that you don't want to hear. <laughs> and that, was, that, that is wrong. Okay, I and Fiona, we don't want to. I mean, during our event today, we don't get involved with other people's business at all. Okay, everything I already talk to my upline. If I have something to complain, I talk to my upline. Okay, so the gossip, because once you start crossing over all this, huh, it will create profit to apply as well. And instead of building success, building brain and leg, you have to come and solve organization problem. Then hold for who are they? Good life. Now you understand that good life doesn't mean a secure life. Good life doesn't mean that you have security. Before COVID, everyone had good life. And then when COVID comes, good life becomes insecure life. And then you start, oh, good life doesn't mean secure life. So I actually need a secure life. Not a good life. Ask yourself, if you don't talk for one month, how much work? If you don't talk for one month, how much you work? That's your real network. I know how much I earn because I went to meditation one month and then climb mountain another month. Did you talk to anyone? I still earn what I earn. Wow. Now, here's the problem. Think about it. If you don't talk for one month, how much you earn? That is your real pay. That is a secure life. Good salary give you good life, but not secure life. Okay, secure life means what is your network? Network is when you don't work at all, when you don't speak at all. How much do you earn? That's the mindset you should have. And if you have that mindset, you will stick to everywhere. You will, you will set the right priority for everywhere. Number eight. Next slide, please. Oh, this, I just want to show you that because, you know, the young people, they say they like to be influencer, which is nothing wrong. But let me tell you, I never tried to be influencer. I don't even create content. But I have Instagram. And I don't even know where they come from. This 351,000 people. But you know what amazing? You know, like an actor in Thailand, actor or singer in Thailand, they might have created a 50,000 group, but only Thai people, but I have all around the world. They have all the people in Thailand, but everywhere I land, at whatever airport, I have someone to pick me up. Because I'm not a dinner or lunch together. You know, these people, all they think about is subscription or 
they have to make sure that the, the fan base not increase. Because they influence them. But these people, they follow me because I didn't influence them. I showed them an example. They follow me. That's a real follow. Now, the other thing I want to share with you. You see my TikTok. I don't know whether 26,000 is a lot or not. But what I can tell you is, I opened my TikTok account just two weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> you can ask right now, hey, give me TikTok. <laughs> okay, and look at the view. What is the most important thing in that? 
building our business. A, getting to know new people. B, selling and building foundation as well. C, sponsoring. B, all of the above. Who, who choose all? Everyone choose all, right? But why are you doing only one? <laughs>
as for games, events, you have to make sure that you contribute a good character, positive energy. Okay. Now, with system. System nothing to do with fighting leg at all. So don't doubt in your system. There is no best system in the world, but there is the best, the strongest team in the world. Choose to be the strongest team, not having the best system. Okay? Because system can be outdated. But the team, the strongest team, that is where you create culture and attract it. Attract it. tiger, dragon, lion into your group. So never complain, never doubt about whatever you are doing. Okay? But make sure that everyone contribute and be a good leader so that the team become united. When the team become united, momentum come and you attract good people. Good quality people come in. A, sponsoring skill and objection. In fighting this, well, you have to have some certain skill, but you don't have to wait until you become the best at it. That's why you have to bring people into the event like yesterday. Because yesterday I also did handling some objections while I answered. Right? And to upline create event sponsoring. That is system support. But out of all this, only one word that you don't have is consistency. You, you agree? Yeah. Right? So, now, ECB, I have everything for you. Good member, good leader, good event. Good upline. Good event. Think about it. If you sell another 1,000 ticket, do you think it will be so up? Yes. And you hear. That means, that means you in this room and the other person just outside, you have the order over them already. You were at Genting yesterday compared to the people who were in KL yesterday, not in Genting. You see something else different already. Even my ally in Thailand still haven't seen that. Okay? So, this is your privilege. Okay. And that, when you have a privilege like this, you have to say thank you to all your ally and leaders. It's very privileged to do it. That's what we do. Okay? It's our relationship together that brings us here. So right now, we have like a lightsaber that other people don't have. Number 10. What is the cause that make people give up in that way? Okay. Bad apply. Rejection. Number of rejection. All not being professional and stop learning. Which one? Which one? Which one think? Whooping A. Good. Whooping B. Whooping C. Okay. The correct answer is C for this one. Okay. If you have bad ally, this is your own business. Think about cash for game. Think about the cash for game. If the person who gives you the opportunity card is a bad guy, does that affect your opportunity? Not at all. Nothing to do with it at all. Right? If you're working online, like you have some problem, whatever, you go up to the next active online and consult with them how you're gonna work this out. But again, you don't just quit the cash flow game because of the guy who hand you the opportunity card, opportunity, opportunity card have bad personality. Okay. It's just excuse, you know. Those people who think, no, it's just excuse. Because if you like really, really stick into the business, you will know you have to go out. Rejection. Why rejection is not the cause? That makes people give up again. Because everyone faces it. You face it, I face it. 
But there are still people who didn't give up. So rejection is not the cause. The cause is one who stop learning. That is when the giving up circle starts to spin. When you stop coming to the meeting. When you start to have your own self-doubt. And that happens when you don't come to the meeting. Okay. You know, I, I watch in Korea and uh, meet with some of my deputies in Korea. And they don't come to the meeting. Okay. And she said, I just feel like they talk the same thing. You know when people say this, that means they don't have new people to the meeting. Right? If you have new people to the meeting, you will, whatever, whatever you say, you bring the people in. Because first, you come to the meeting to learn. Then you come to the meeting to build. And then you come to the meeting to lead. Right? But if you don't come to learn, only come to learn and not have new people, you will learn the same thing, of course. But if you have new people, you will be, you will, will be building and then you learn another thing. And then when you build it up and start become a leader, you learn another thing. And meeting never get boring. So, so I told her, nothing wrong with you not coming to the meeting or getting bored, but between you coming to the meeting and I speaking the same thing for 14 years, who should get bored? <laughs> I still, you know when I sell in spring, when I sell atmospheres, I still talk the same like 14 years ago. Exactly the same joke, same like pattern, everything the same. How easy is that? Think about it. Now, if at the meeting, you have new people come in, and then every week, they keep changing the topics. People who have, you know, doesn't have the right mindset, oh, it's boring, they keep changing the topic all the time. I can't do it. Too many things to learn. But in our way, there's only like what? 10 things to learn. And then you repeat the 10 things. Okay? Once you stop learning, you lose your pain. For example, if you're a father of Katinam now, and you start sitting at the back, you start to lose your pain. Okay? When your business doesn't grow, that means you have to learn something more from the apply because you are the lead of your business. For example, this is, your, your lead is number eight. Your business can't go over number eight. It will go five, six, seven, not over eight. But if you improve yourself, you learn from the apply. Attending leadership like this, that up your level. You have leadership number 10, then the business will go number 9. Okay, so this slide okay, is all about being a professional learner all the time in our way. Being a professional learner. Okay, and you will get to be so many things in life if you are a learner. You, you, you get to be a runner, you get to be a farmer, you get to be a, a writer, you get to be a blink, you get to be whatever. So many things inside you if you are a learner. Now, I cannot emphasize enough how important this book is. And again, I had a conversation with uh, Brother Rickford and uh, Brother Richard. I don't have time to explain why I'm so into this. It's all in the book. But what I want to show you is why I sat and thought about why I was so in armor by Lisa. I wonder why does she read my thought this much? Why is she so well embedded in my heart and the heart of countless other? As I turned over this question in my mind, I thought back to when I was a guitarist performing in Melbourne, Australia, and then and then and then. You go and find out. But this, the message that I want to send, one of the messages that I want to send in this chapter and I want the young people to read, and again, all the seven prophets to charity. Okay? 
But I can't emphasize enough how important this chapter is for the young people. To understand the difference between an idol and an icon. Idol succeed because they want to receive fame and become famous. Icon want to succeed so they give hope and keep our life. I don't want to succeed to follow the dream. I don't want to succeed to show that having a dream is all you need. And I show you something. This book was published in Thai just last June, June, June 2021. So it's like 14 months ago. Look what I wrote. But of all the good things that come from discovering Blackpink and Lisa, by far the best one is that she gave me new dreams. And today, one of my biggest dreams is to meet her in person. To hear her real voice and to see her real beauty. I want to see her smile and feel everything too. Everything goes still in real time. And I even write, if any of you know her personally, I would ask that you give this book to her. And when you do, tell her that from the first word to the last word of this book, I dedicate it to her. Wow. Tell her that I want to meet her more than anything. Tell her that as I wrote this book, I play blackpink music softly in the background of her. <laughs> I don't need to wait for anyone anymore because I did it myself 72 hours ago in my experience. <laughs> but what I, what I want to tell you is that it was just a dream, like, like really, like a dream. When I was writing this, it seemed so far away. It seemed like, how can I get to meet her? It was almost impossible. I'm the believer. That's why I never doubted one day I'll meet her. And it come even sooner than I thought. Wow. It's incredible. You know, uh, that night that after I met her, I come and read the chapter again and I found this paragraph of oh, I cry like a baby. It's just thank you, God. This is like providence for why. Okay? So what I'm saying is, now that you are leader in that way, be careful what you write. <laughs> because it will come true. Be careful at what you write down. Because all that I write down, I achieve it all. Next, please. Okay. Now, bonus, bonus, bonus. Because give me more. Like, now, I'm, I'm going to use this slide, I'm telling you, I tell you so. I'm going to use this slide to uh, speak to Kazakhstan, but I'm not giving them this bonus, okay? <laughs> I think I'm not saying it's a nice thing. Because you have a very good bodyguard, and I really appreciate that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you have a bodyguard. Oh, it's like, whoa, boom, boom. <laughs> I give you nine pictures for bonus. Okay. Some of them I got from the internet. Some of them, you know, just pop up into my head. Now, first picture, I like this one. Seeking for grace, not perfection. You don't have to be good or you don't have to be perfect at sponsoring, selling, or handling objection. But in order to build a business, you have to put your head out and walk and try to face it, no matter what skill level you are. Okay? Don't be afraid. Why I say don't be afraid? Because don't worry. Apply is behind you. Apply is behind you. You have all the support. You know when when you hurt, when you are hurt by some word of the prospect, apply to her too. 
even angry sometimes. Okay? So, you got a team, you're not alone. That's the good thing about Alphabet. But if you're a lawyer, if you open a coffee shop, when problem happens, you face a lot. So don't be afraid to see progress in Amway. In the end, it's not the year in your life that counts, it's the life in your years. This sentence might sound very simple, but think about it. What have you done during the last 365 days? You know, in Facebook today, you know, in memories, memories. Today, last year, I was in Boi uh, with Fiona. Boi is a beach town in Thailand. And I went to Boi with Fiona because I was about to go to Korea and live there for six months. And I never thought whatever happened to me during the last week would happen. I would have never imagined. But because I believe that it will get better. If you ask me, last year, October, I wasn't feeling good, to be honest with you. I wasn't feeling good at all. I was feeling disappointed. I was feeling not sad, but not happy. But life go on. And I keep doing. You know, no matter how much, how sad your life is or how sad you feel, you have to make sure that you make the right decision. And the right decision will start to connect your sad life into the right direction. And once you write your life heading in the right direction, you will start to feel better. And once you achieve your dreams, you fulfill something, you forget all that. And you will be amazed what you can do in one year. What you can do in one year. Okay? So make sure that every year of yours, make it count. Okay? You know, if in your life you have the book of regret and the book of success, which we, we, you have to make sure that, the, of course, everyone has the book of regret. Okay? But you have to make sure that this is thin, thin. The big one should be the book of achievement, the book of success, the book of uh, certification. Okay? And in order to do that, now, that's why I'm, this might sound simple, but you have to understand that people who understand this, you understand that the tools to build your life are important. Because if you get up, go to work, come home, go to bed, get up, go to work, come home, go to bed, get up, go to work, come home, go to bed, get up, go to work, come home, go to bed, get up, go to work, come home, go to bed, hospital, temple. I mean, <laughs> it will be like that. It will be like that. There was a... When I was in Dallas, watching Blackpink concert, and the teenager um, in Thailand, they excited, right? And then they tagged me. And they wrote, this is Skinny Noi, my icon. Last, this year, he flying around over watch Blackpink. Last year, he spent six months in Korea learning the, the language, uh, the literature, you know, writing. The, the year before last year, he finished two books. The year before that year, he ran marathon around the world. It's awful. Make sure that your life is on this side. Okay? Yes. And, you see, as time go by, Anger, the feeling of anger will decrease. Have you ever got angry with someone like five years ago? Do you still feel as angry as five years ago? No. Same thing with rejection. Same thing with rejection. Okay? You might feel rejected, you might feel disappointed, you might feel doubtful. But as long as you in the meeting, it will disappear. But make sure you are in the meeting. Because if you're not in the meeting, what you do is someone say no, right? Like slapping one time. And they go away, holiday already, you keep slapping yourself. 
<laughs> what do you think? You come into FCC Hall and you know I keep stepping myself. Crazy guy, right? So stop stepping yourself. Are you stepping yourself? Keep stepping yourself? No. Next. Oh, I like this one. You read 100 book, 99, it doesn't change your life. But one will. But if you don't read at all, you have no chance. You know, even in one book, only one sentence can change your life. I still remember reading Barack Obama book, the, the Promised Land. So good, the Promise Keeper, and Barack Obama, the Promised Land. So connected. One sentence that really struck me is that I walk into the office, I walk into the Oval Office. And I realized that even though all the people around the world feel like I am the most powerful person in the world, I tell myself that being a president is just a job. And it's true. Being a president is just a job, right? Four years, eight years, that's it. And I got struck by that. That means he, he doesn't hold on to the title, you know? It just gives me the sense of humility and humanity. And I remember that sentence all my life. So keep reading. You try 100 times, you try 100 times, 99 on earth, but one will change your life. You meet 100 people, 99, you never see again, but one will change your life. Your, your, your life. For example, you talk to 100 people, you found one diamond. And let's say diamond uh, has the volume of like 4 million Malaysian ringgit per year. 40 million baht. No, no, no. no. 40 million baht. 40 million baht is how much in, in ringgit? 4 million, 4, 4 million ringgit, right? Yeah, around 4 million ringgit, yeah. Yeah, divide by 8 or 10. If you talk to 100 people and then you get 40 million volume, are you willing to do that? Yes. If you talk to 200 people, you get 50 million volume, are you willing to do that? Yes. That what happened when you found one diamond. Okay? So keep that in mind. And it really does happen. And it really does happen. Next. Moment, mo you don't need motivation, you need consistency. Moment, motivation come and goes because it's emotion. Consistency is action, and action. Okay? Um, when I went to Mexico and speak, one of the questions I still remember was, how can we keep motivating our allies? How do we keep them motivated? I said I can't. The answer is I can't. If I can, oh, I'm like triple, quadruple, founder of our ambassador already. <laughs> okay? But entrepreneur, leader, we motivate ourselves. Okay? And we use the group to keep our consistency. Apply is there for what? What is the real, the real? Actually, the real responsibility for applying once you become a leader is to hold you accountable to your consistency. To hold you accountable to your goals, to what you plan to do. And trust me, accountability very, very important. Running by having a coach and running by yourself, no coach, you won't run as much as having a coach. Same thing, sponsoring with a dependable goal with the apply. And sponsoring with a not dependable goal with the apply because you're afraid to reach, you know, that you're not going to reach it. The first one, the apply no better you plan and you let the apply go, you accountable. Okay? And you know, one thing, you have to, don't be afraid to declare goals. Good goals, okay? Because 
Think about this. When you are afraid to be careful, it's just like I'm afraid to succeed in life. You know, some people feel like if I declare a goal to be 21% and then I reach 12%, nobody come and score at you. We just encourage you. But if you don't have a goal and nobody knows, then you want to become 21%. No one will give you encouragement. So, be brave. Don't be fearful about declaring your goals. Okay, to the team, to the outline. It is important. Okay, I have my outlines. What we become diamond last like five years ago. They still not a diamond, but let their leadership got better and better all the time. That was it all about because. She has a goal to become diamond. That's why her leadership increased. But if she doesn't have a goal to become diamond, first thing, I'm not going to focus on her. Okay, I'm going to focus on something who wants to become three points. Next, this one. Regret your past won't change anything. Anxiety or worry about your future also won't change anything. Action is the only way to get everything. So action today. Okay? Action today. And you know, you, know, you have like a 22 month diamond. And I talked to um, Miss Aisha, like the regional manager uh, in, in uh, like the regional manager of Amway, you know, in Asia. We had a meeting in Bangkok. And whatever I say about the situation in Thailand, just go into her ear. You know why? She said, look at Malaysia, they're growing. That means the company knows that you guys are growing, even in the red more than Thailand now. So you are at the right momentum. Okay, so you make sure you get on the bus and take action. Okay, because last year you what, 1.5 billion, right? Which before, when I came here first time, you're not even one billion yet. And now you're not, you, you, you always owe one billion and you one point five billion already. Okay? So don't lose the chance to take action. Discipline is not about perfection. Discipline is about continuity. Correct. Okay? Is, for example, a lot of people might always be happy. How to do meditation, this and that. Do this first. You don't have to sit down 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Sit down 15 seconds, but do it every day in the morning. Can you do that first thing in the morning before pick up your phone and start scrolling? That's meditation. That's self-control. If you wake up every morning at 6 o'clock, if you can do that, that's discipline. Okay? But if you wake up 6 a.m. every morning and pick up your phone first, that's discipline without self-control. Okay? Self-control is even more important than discipline. Okay? So well, soldier have discipline. Why not also just see, right? All they do is just cook the tart in Thailand. Right? So, you have to make sure that this has to go together. And self-control will only come when you do it often enough. Like this morning, I have to take out my shoes and run 10 kilo on before I need you. Before I need you, I did 10 kilo this morning. <laughs> Because it's become my habit now, I feel like mm, if I don't run, you know? <laughs> you know? And there was a point, you know, when I was training so hard for the men, uh, the, the world major, right? If I walk like this, then you push me, like, touch me like that, I run right away. Okay? If you are going to be famous for, okay? 
be famous for self-control. Okay? Not like, you know, I would love, like yesterday, um, Rick said I was famous for self-control and self-discipline. When I heard that, I was kind of proud of that. You know, instead of the most handsome car ambassador, I would like to be the most self-controlled car ambassador.
Your life is not about the end or the beginning. It's about everything in between. Your life is not about the pin. You didn't come to hear me because of the pin. You come to hear my story. It's not my pin that inspired. It is my story that inspired. Yes. It's what we do to you. Signing up to the master that inspired you. And what's between after the finish line, after the crowd master to the end of my life, that inspired you. So that means, what does that mean? That means every decision that you choose to fight means something. Because it's in between. But if you don't make decision at all, there will be nothing in between. Okay? Nobody will get inspired by you. My fight means something to you. Your fight will also mean something to someone. And I know that my fight, my story, will be someone survival guideline in the future. That's why I fight. Why do they say that? Other people in the next generation can survive. That's the purpose of your life. So make sure that if you have a chance to fight, choose always to fight. Always choose to be a winner. Always choose to be a winner. That's the only way you can fill the in between with all the rainbow color. Okay? Some of the people like them, start white, die white. <laughs> Even worse, start dark, die dark. Okay? Okay, so I think that's about it. Okay, and uh, thank you. I'll be flying back to Thailand tomorrow to see my wife and my bunny son. Um, because I've been away for weeks already. But this is your day one. Okay. What does that mean? This is your day one. Your day one of what? Of being a new version of you. Of being the ultimate version of you. This is your day one. Whatever your goal is, just show your upline tonight, okay? And make sure that everything starts day one here. All right? Thank you very much. Take care.